no. But today I'm coming to you about an article I read. It was actually published October 21st, 2018. I know I'm a little late. Well, a lot of late because October about to come back around again. But this article, it really spoke to my soul because like it has been a trying time for me between within the last two years it's really been hard on me with uh probably a little further back it seems like i've been ha having death after death after death in my family <clears throat> or out of close people that surround me so i've been trying to read things recently to uplift my spirits and it's something that i read and it's also a discussion I had with one of my best friends, Janelle. And we were just talking about, and I, well, I, I'm not gonna expose anything that she probably wouldn't want me to expose, but um, if I do, I do apologize. But I don't think I will. Um, but it's the article is sometimes you can't pray it away. And I know for African-American people, especially those that have been raised in the church which she has as well as myself we were reared in the church and basically it's always go to god go to god go to god but i have to say y'all sometimes it is just time that you can pray 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 but it just it, it doesn't seem like it's working you know and i know people are going to say you know Prayer without works is dead. That is, that is. But what if you are praying and what you think you are doing is working? You know, what if you think you are working toward, I'm sorry for it. Like, look, our roads and bad roads are like riding through the Dukes of Hazzard. It's, it's rough, okay? So just bear with me, okay? So, um, you know, if you think you're working and you're praying and you're like, well, Jesus, what, what is going on? So, so that could slip you into depression, which is what I have been. And that's another thing. A lot of people, especially African-American people, they don't like to admit when they are in a depressive state. So I think the first thing that, because I've talked to my ex's grandmother, my mother, my auntie, and every, every single person says prayer. And I do know that prayer works because my testimony in life, and just the struggles that God has brought me through, I know prayer works. But sometimes, a prayer just is not enough. And and it is a stigma in the African American community when it also comes to seeing the therapist. Um, I think it's more accepting now, especially with my auntie, and wait, I don't know if she doesn't like the word auntie, but I don't know, she's my auntie in my head, Miss Iyana. That's that. Like, I swear I get a type of healing just by watching. And I've learned a lot from her fix my life. Now, all everything that I watch, it doesn't affect me directly. However, it's a lot of times where a lot of situations have happened where it doesn't apply to me directly, but you looking at somebody else's situation and seeing your situation you can see how you could have possibly handled it better that's all i will say so in seeing that you can handle it better you know you just you you think about a lot of past situations when did sometimes you perhaps overacted and you know things that you've done not only in relationship in life period you know and it, it's it's a hard task especially to I know for me it is especially being what I would consider to be a perfectionist and being a perfectionist you don't want to admit to your wrong that's what you don't want to do so so you know you just have to pretty much take your time and understand that sometimes you're gonna be wrong and, and that's it's hard for me especially the Aquarius side shout out to my Aquarius but if you know an Aquarius I think we try to get things right and try to pay attention to things so that we won't have to be wrong so Miss Jazz I appreciate you it says sometimes you can't pray it away I'm going to read to you some of the things that I felt that assisted me 
and it says even with all of that sad, sad can make make wait wait even with all of that i can read y'all sad can make time for me and when she said sad can make time for me it came to a point i'm not going to lie to you um probably like i think two or three months ago i had a cry spell and anybody who knows me knows that i am not a cry i'm a cry like if something happens in my life that will warn me to cry like a death a birth something happy but as far as just a crying crying person <coughs> excuse me i'm just not an emotional person like that so that's when the trigger came you know in my head to say okay something is going on because i would literally be at work and i'm not talking about you know a cry i'm talking about shoulder shaking <laughs> that type of cry that's not that's not that's not normal and that's not healthy especially when it's nothing that's really wrong but it actually was something that's wrong it was emotion that i had been over the years just suppressing and and that's another thing you have to get it out and another thing that i tell my other co-worker is stop saying you okay like you need to tell people and i know that it may seem like you are bothering people by saying that you're not okay but somebody needs to know because when your friends and i and i do thank my friends especially the tasha's i'm gonna say the tasha's the net it's like a lot of people tiana ty my co-worker Kelly, it's just a lot of people who have been there for me because i just have not been myself and another thing is it's hard especially when you're going through depression and you are not yourself and you want to be yourself like i'm happy Carla. so when i saw that you know i'm 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 always down for having fun acting a fool and i'll have moments but for the most part it was like i was just down down okay on the surface people see someone unafraid to push through anything pain anguish anger but sadness often creeps through that's a fact nothing can go right nobody understands or even if they did i don't want to put them on the emotional roller coaster that i'm sitting in front of and i think that only your true friends and family will be able to assist you my auntie brenda who is like my second mama my cousin adrian like my cousin danielle they all knew that you know something wasn't right with me so that's the thing that i thank god for that i do have family and friends that understood like okay caller this is not normal for you i am attempting to backstroke through my misery and i am drowning in it and that's how it was for me you know a couple of months ago i'm slowly coming out of it not quite but i am slowly coming out of it there's a story that talks about a man who climbs atop his roof during a storm with bad flooding he is praying to god to save him a rescue boat comes to him and says no i'm okay god is going to save me next a helicopter comes again and says and he says no okay i'm okay god is going to save it save me inevitably the flood rises and he succumbs and drowns when he gets to heaven he finds god and asks him why didn't you save me jesus replied i sent you a boat and a helicopter what more did you want and it's a lot of times where we don't see it but god is sending us people to assist us and help us through things and you know you just take your time and you have to realize and recognize it i'm not trying to have this video too long we have to stop allowing our pride to get in the way of healing and i think that was my thing my mom is my best friend so i'm always vocal with her and i'll tell her the emotions that i'm going through sometimes you just can't pray it away it will be a feeling of sadness so long large that it becomes a boulder on your chest preventing you to breathe only because you wake up this morning and that's anxiety sometimes god sends lifeboats in forms of licensed medical professions helicopters in form of medication and therapy we have to start recognizing that diagnosis and treatment are not signs of weakness but of strength and care which is essential to surviving everyday life sometimes you just can't pray it away and that is okay faith without work is dead prayer without actions are just words spoken in the world um you 
Your way of coping with or engaging in life may not may not be someone else's. Respect their boundaries. Sometimes you can't pray it away. But if you can't, there's nothing wrong with you. Do not let anyone else make you feel less than because you have chosen your own path of healing, which is the end goal. Some things never go away, but you can learn to live in spite of them. You are ill, but you are you are not your illness. And if others around you refuse to understand that, perhaps part of your healing is to remove them as well. Take care of yourself by any means necessary. Now, when she said that, I felt that because even in my time of distress for the last couple of months to a year, <clears throat> I have noticed that there were people previously, I was their friend to stop by your house, check on you, pop up on you, you know, bring you stuff. I'm, I can say that I have not been doing that, but in not doing that and not texting and not calling friends, you actually see who is there for you. When I say that, I mean that a lot of people who I call my friends at that time have not, it was the first, it was a little while that they checked on me, but after that, no calls, no call, no show, like at work. So, I mean, I think God did put me through this so I could see who was there for me. And I appreciate every last person who has been there for me now, who have helped me through my breakup, who has helped me through healing of deaths in my family. Because like I said, it's really been a back-to-back -back issue, you know? Like, yeah, when with the deaths, it just seems like, you know... And I hate to say it because I know I had someone who told me previously, you know, never say what you can't handle because God will show you what you can. So I do appreciate, like I said, I didn't want it to be too long, but, and I, I drove to work. So I didn't want it to be too long, but I appreciate you guys for watching and make sure that you do visit XO Nicole's website. I will try my best to leave the link in the description box so you all can read the actual article because I only picked out what I felt that applied to me but the entire article Miss Jazz is excellent and you sometimes you just can't pray it away and I appreciate you guys I love you.